あなたたちデートしたら A date? The next day I'm caught off guard by an unexpected question. By which I can only assume you mean going somewhere romantically? Well, hoping to dodge the subject, I look away. Aoi and Eru are playing together as usual, and Eru's got his brand new collar on. Thankfully, he doesn't seem to mind the sound of the bell. I, gu I guess we don't really do much couple stuff. Kind of feels like we're just friends in a way. Oh. Come to think of it, the moment I suggested inviting Miyuki, Aoi looked a little disappointed. Yeah! Yeah! まあ、誘ってくれるのは嬉しいけどね。今度はちゃんとデートに誘ってあげなさい。じゃないと愛想つかされて浮気されるかもよ。チラミ。As if. Miyuki, do you know something? A friend? Aoi and I have never visited Catnip, just the two of us. もちろん、店員さんの見間違いかもしれないわ。でも… Maybe she came with some other female friend. There's got to be some kind of misunderstanding here. I refuse to believe this. Right. Thanks. But I could hear my voice waver. What's that sound? Okay. <laughs> I gently push her off and stand up. Owie loses her balance and stumbles a bit. It's too early for me to get in the mood. That's not the issue. どういう問題なの? Uh, I don't know. I think I still love her. I think I still trust her. But my feelings just don't add up. Let's get ready for school. <sighs> Ignoring Aoi, I hop off the bed and start my morning routine. I feel far too disgusted and guilty. To look her in the eye. That's, uh... That really messed up Shinichi. I wonder if she did it on purpose. I'm home! I call out, but I get no answer. Everything's been totally fine up until now. So why do I feel so restless all of a sudden? Hey! You hear? Aoi? Hey there, Eru. Meow. Where'd she go? I mumble to myself while I play with Eru. I generally don't feel comfortable being too public about my relationships. 
So there have been plenty of days where Aoi and I left school separately. But thinking back on it, something about it bothers me. Aoi's not part of any clubs or anything, and I somehow doubt she has any close friends outside of Miyuki. So what could she be doing right now? The front door opens and Aoi calls out. Eru jumps off the sofa to greet her. Welcome home. Where were you? Aoi takes a carton of milk out of a corner store to go bag. But the closest corner store from here, Yutaro's family store, is only about a ten minute walk at most. It shouldn't have taken her this long. Oh, it's nothing. Shinichi? I said it's nothing. Mate. Desperate, Aoi stops me in my tracks. Ano, Aoi kara hanashi ga... Sorry, it'll have to wait. Shinichi. I shake her off and go upstairs. She doesn't try to chase after me. I stare out the window. Damn, is this really happening? This is this ended up being more of a sad ending than the Miyuki route. I mean, the Mi Miyuki route was completely happy. The pale moon hangs over the dark canvas of the night sky. It reminds me of the night we consummated our love on the rooftop. I was so happy then. I sincerely couldn't have asked for anything more. And I believed she felt the same way. But that was then. Now with each passing moment, we're falling apart. Are we even on the same planet anymore? Oh, hey, morning. No, not really. I hear Aoi's voice from the other side of the room. I look over to find her standing among a group of girls all gathered around Miyuki. Apparently they're starting to see Aoi as sort of a class pet. I've seen the route. She is not an F cup at all. She's not an F cup. I mean, maybe, maybe Japanese measuring, maybe Japanese um, measuring standards are way different than American, but whatever. The hell are they even talking about? Please shut up forever. Yeah. We're fine. What do you want from me? I can feel my voice going up an octave. You want to say something to me? Then say it to my face! They're just rumors! My voice echoes through the classroom. Instantly, I can feel everyone staring at me. Aoi looks over at me, but I wave my hand to dismiss her concern. I will myself to calm down, then turn back to Yutaru. So, sorry for shouting like that. If I actually trusted Aoi, then I wouldn't have felt the need to shout in the first place. And this realization really stings.
あけぼのくんを疑ってるの What? This is the first thing Miyuki says to me after I tell her what happened this morning. あけぼのくんがおいを狙ってる。そう思ってるのね。No way, he's more interested in you. I t h i n a l l y told you. So, I think it's a good thing. She's got a point. As attractive as she is, there's no guarantee he'll hold out for forever. Most people would probably try to find someone else. But why Aoi? So, I think it's a good thing. But he helped me look for her the whole time. だから疑ったんじゃないの What? I thought it was just proof that he cares about me. Could Miyuki be right? Could he have had an ulterior motive? No way, it can't be. Oh. The day I came home to an empty house, Aoi showed up with milk from the corner store. Yutaro's family store. 顔色悪いわよ。No, I'm fine. 全然大丈夫じゃないじゃない。これ、使いなさい。She hands me tickets to the play. アンズルより産むが安し。単なる勘違いかもしれないしね。変に抱えるより、デートに誘って、直接聞いてみなさい。猫パンチなのにゃみゃおにゃにゃにゃ Meanwhile, Ali practices her kitty punch attack with Eru. Things are so awkward between us now. How could I possibly ask her out on a date of all things? セーブしてみる Excuse me? What? Uh, yeah. Save s t a r a s p i c e t e m y e r i n o s e r a y o I know she's joking, but it gives me pause. If only I could save my progress in real life, everything would be so much easier. I could just reload my file and give it another shot. With a power like that, I'd never need to hesitate. So, I'm going to ask you to ask me. Yeah, she was, she, was, she was supposedly joking in subject of Aoi, but. <sighs> Whoa, hold on a second. Before I can react, Miyuki walks off, leaving me with the tickets. Don't worry, I'll take the tickets. もし失敗してもやり直せるんだから。With that, she climbs down the ladder. みゆき、どこ行くのごめんなさい。今日はこれから委員会があるの。また午後にね。バイバイなの。The door closes and みゆき's footsteps fade away. I stare up at the vast blue sky, my feelings still a jumbled mess. I'll get another chance, huh? Her final words echo in my mind. It's almost like she knows I'm going to screw up for sure. <laughs> Out of nowhere, Aoi stu suddenly starts transmitting. No service? Save the Kinaino. Your body, Kamisama, Inakunatano. Supposing he did, what then? Kanga Taka Naino. So a so a ste. Nigeda stakte. Feeling scared, huh? Kuai. Shunned by her classmates, living alone, alone in a manga cafe, she could never bring herself to accept reality. She needed a new reality that she could escape to. 
So she invented her god. With God's help, she could load her save files and strive for a better outcome in real life. At least that's what she had to tell herself, I'm guessing. But now her signal can't reach. She can't reload her save file. So... Why? Aoi wa... Hoagatte ra... Shinichi wa... Me? Hanashite ru to... Wakaru no... Soa soa shite... Nige dashita kute... Shinichi mo... Hoagatte ra... I... I fall silent. I can't bring myself to lie to her. あたりまえなの。青いは普通の人間じゃなくて普通の感情とかよくわからなくて頭の中が変で電波で心配かけてばっかりで嫌な噂も。so she knows. Her eyes are so dazzling. She gently takes my hand in hers. For the past few days, I've been so afraid of her. But the feeling was probably mutual. Scared of rejection, we've been keeping each other at arm's length. But she's finally gathered all her courage to talk about it. Even without her save files, she trusts that I'll hear her out. And now it's my turn. Wanna come with me? I hold out the tickets to the play. Nora... Isho? Yeah. It'll be a real, actual date this time around. Date... Sore wa... Ano... Date na no? Of course. We're boyfriend and girlfriend, aren't we? Her hand shoots up into the sky. Clutched in her palm is the kitty hairpin I bought for her. I mean, it won't be super fancy. <laughs> That's all she wanted. Huh? Owie crumples to the ground. Owie? You okay? You weren't supposed to literally get topsy turvy, you dork. With her arm around my shoulder, she whispers into my ear. I don't understand why she looks so miserable, but... To me, it still feels like the world she sees is entirely different from mine. Thirty-seven point five degrees. That's a fever, all right. Her face is already completely haggard. 
She's been sick a lot lately, but to think it would get this bad on the day of the performance? She writhes on the sofa, the hairpin clutched in her hand. Just get some sleep. It's my birthday next week, you know? And you've been sick a lot lately. You gotta make a full recovery by then, you hear me? That's right. And I won't be very happy if you don't get better. So you need to rest up and recover. Of course! Aoi purses her, her lips and hesitates for a moment. I'm staying here. Nah, she dropped out of the lead role. Her voice is unusually firm, and I fall silent. You sure you can fall asleep without me here? Mm. No playing with Edder, you hear me? Mm. I don't feel great about this. But I know how stubborn she can be about this stuff. I do owe Miyuki for getting us the tickets, so I guess I ought to give in and go see the play. Alright, I'll be back later. Shinichi! Just then, Aoi sits upright on the sofa. Uh, not sure you ever told me. May 23rd. So you were born before me, huh? What's a code number? I assume this is just another one of Aoi's verbal tics, and yet her expression is steely. Bring you back? From where? No, hang on, where are you going? I'm actually going to uh, write that down, so hang on. Okay. First dial 999, then dial my birthday 0523 two times. Q Q Q Zero Go First dial nine nine nine. Then punch in Aoi's birthday twice. Nine 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 O five two three O five two three. I mean, it's obvious that this game is wanting me to remember it. I repeat it over and over in, in my mind. Okay, I promise. I'm not sure where the heck that came from. Maybe I should write this number down somewhere. Yeah, I already did. Shinichi... 
Right. Thanks. Her face is flushed bright red. No one's ever said that to me before. Not even during the lovemaking? I'm trying to remember. I... I don't remember. Part of me is thrilled. And yet, somehow, something seems off about her. <sighs> I have a feeling that she's saying goodbye. As I'm putting my shoes on by the front door, I hear the jingle of a bell, and the next thing I know, Eru is standing in my path. <laughs> hey, come on, settle down for a ball. What, you don't want me to go, is that it? Just relax, I'm not abandoning Aoi or anything, okay? <laughs> Eru ignores me. The little guy is completely pissed. Normally, he's so well-behaved, too. Okay... Um... Hmm... I think it's a sign. Maybe... Eru is a transceiver cat. Aoi told me all about his supposed powers of precognition. I know I should probably take it all with a grain of salt, but at the same time... Eru's the one who helped me find her on the school roof that night. I check the time on my phone. Thirty minutes until the show starts. I feel bad for suspecting her, but admittedly... Something has been bothering me about her behavior lately. <coughs> Fine. My instinct compels me to take action, and so I decide to hide in the bushes and wait. The fact of the matter is, Ali hasn't been acting like herself the past couple of days. Her sparkle is completely gone. She just sort of survives each day, from one moment to the next. I had assumed she was physically sick, but... The sound of the door opening makes me flinch. <laughs> Owie steps outside, her face still flushed. I told her to stay home and get some rest. But here she is, breaking our promise. She gazes down at the kitty hairpin in her hand. <laughs> what is she gonna do? As she whispers, she staggers onto the street in a feverish haze. I can still hear Aoi's pained plea ringing in my ears. Biting my lip, I come to a decision. I can't overlook this little excursion. I climb out of the bushes and follow her. She stumbles along like she's walking on clouds. Almost as though she's following an invisible signal. Then she steps off the road to the school and... Heads inside the corner store. She's just going shopping, right? She must have run out of cold medicine. Or maybe Eru needs more milk. Or... That's it, maybe she randomly needed to use the restroom. Or maybe she's just jonesing for Iabolis. Or... Or... Hmm... He's my friend. The words sound painfully fake, even to me. My chest fills with suppressed anger and unbearable guilt. I remember her begging me, but what did she mean by that? Would she really go that far to deceive me? The automatic doors slide open with the familiar corner store chime. Oh. 
，露露，阿伟先輩，大丈夫ですか？ It's Haruchan. I forgot she works here too. Instantly, my misgivings melt away. Ali just came to see her. She's not here for you, Taro. After all, she isn't cheating on me. Or are you sure about that? She may be by. Haru-chan, hayaku, iku no. Oh, hi. Now they certainly have a plan. <laughs> I laugh to myself as I watch them go. All worried about nothing. I hurry down the road beneath the red rays of the sunset. If I run, I can still make it in time for the play. Admittedly, I took a hell of a detour, but at least I've resolved that misunderstanding. Man, I'm so ashamed of myself for ever doubting Aoi or Yutaro. Of course, I'd still like to know why Aoi left the house, especially since she did it behind my back. I'm sure there's got to be a good reason for it, right? Haruchan's in the theater club. I can't rule out the possibility that the two of them are working on some kind of birthday surprise for me. Maybe I should pretend I didn't see anything. I hand in my ticket and head into the dark gymnasium. The play has yet to start, but most of the seats are full. All that's left is to wait for the curtain to rise. Shinichi, it's a bit Yeah, I know. Something came up. Aoi is not like that, but... If Miyuki's in on the surprise, then I probably shouldn't cop to what I just saw, saw just now. She's feeling sick today. Don't worry, it's nothing serious. Miyuki's expression stiffens, but I wave away her concern. Yeah, just a minor fever. You know how she's been under the weather lately. Her phone's always out of service, though. Seriously, you don't, you don't need to worry about. Yeah, you better do it if she's if you, if she's asking you to. The look in her eyes is dead serious. Weird. Why is she so insistent about this? Oh well, it's just one measly phone call, I guess. As requested, I take out my cell phone. Is this part of the birthday surprise? Confused, I call my empty house. I know Aoi's not there right now, so no one's going to answer. After a handful of rings, I end the call. She wasn't doing too well when I last saw her, so she's probably... M Miyuki? I look over to find Miyuki on her phone, too. Finish your call? She's probably just asleep. What are you talking about? Without another word, Miyuki strides off toward the exit. Wait, what about the play? But you went to the trouble of getting me these tickets. My jealous side? あなたにはこの現実を見届ける義務がある。だからついてきて。Okay. But yeah, I'm guessing that she's actually bi. That for some reason, um, Shinichi n never has crossed his mind. We walk silently down the dark road. Miyuki abandoned the performance just to drag me out here. She's so deadly serious, I don't even feel right making a casual joke. 
Something tells me there isn't a birthday surprise after all. We head back down the road I took to get here. Then finally we arrive at y Yutaro's family corner store. Maybe Miyuki has the same misconception about Yutaro and, and Aoi. If so, I should probably go ahead and explain everything. Listen, uh, to tell the truth, I stopped by here on my way to the performance just now. Aoi was supposed to be laid up in bed with a fever, but I saw her stumbling out of the house. I thought maybe she was cheating on me. But that was all just a misunderstanding. You know that Haruchan girl in your club? She... Yeah? I don't get it. What's wrong with Aoi hanging out with Haruchan? Wait, did you just say he? Oh, okay. Haruchan's one of those girly boys. Haru is Yutaro's brother! Oh my god. Just then, the automatic doors slide open. Shiji! Yutaro dashes outside and drops to his knees. Whoa, what's going on? Yeah. What's going on with your brother? I, I don't get it. You're, you're, you're very slow, Shinichi. Miyuki turns to me. Ryojiro is Yutaro's younger brother. Yutaro has been agonizing over him for days, and now Miyuki claims he and Haruchan are actually the same person? But Haruchan doesn't look like a guy at all. Exactly. Yutaro has been saying that he looks. He, he looks peculiarly feminine for a boy. Oh, right. Yutaro's told me time and time again about Ryujiro's dangerous good looks. And if I think about it, it does sort of explain some things. Like why she, why she was wearing a guy's work uniform at the corner store. Wait, but Haruchan was wearing a girl's uniform at the school. Ah. He was wearing a girl's uniform when we first met, so I must have just assumed. Come to think of it, that would explain why she was flustered enough to hide in the prop closet. After all, I'd probably do the same if my brother's friend walked in on me cross-dressing. But it is, isn't his name Ryujiro? Why would he go by Haru? Haru -a. Akebono. Haruwa Akebono? Of course. In the spring in spring it is the dawn. That f famous quote by Sei Sh Shunagon or whatever. Haru-chan-wa-otoko-tsumari-aoi-wa-anata-to-no-date-no-yakusoku-o-hogo-ni-shite-made-bets-no-otoko-to-gai-shitsu-shita. Miyuki thrusts the cold, hard reality in my face. Pointless as it is, I still try to stick my head in the sand. Maybe they're working on a birthday surprise for me. You know, some fun little... Yutaro chokes the words out. Oh. Huh. Aoi was often seen visiting Catnip with a friend. Shinichi, Aoi wa, 